Hey guys, it's Jessica. Good morning. I woke up literally just like 15 minutes ago. <clears throat> Oops, excuse me. Um, but I have gotten a couple of requests to see my updated wash and go or just regular wash regimen and how I style and how I apply my stylers and gels and things. Um, how I do it isn't too much different than what it was what back a year or two ago but I think what I'm going to try to start doing since a lot of people I know like to see the application videos of different products is that I'm just going to wash and style and just use different stylers so you guys can see the outcomes on my hair um, how I use it how it goes on to wet or dry hair what have you um, so yeah and this is my bun I always sleep like this if you can see if it's in frame um, I just put my hair in a top bun at night to sleep, so let me take it down. Um, this is, how old is this hair? This is like five or six day old hair. It needs, it needs to be washed. Um, the stuff I, I used in it last week I didn't really like, so I didn't get, um, my hair didn't last as long, so... I've had it pulled out or pulled back sorry so it's all stretched out and just a mess and undefined and yeah I mean I always have, still have some definition like back in here um, at the end of the week but it's it's just a mess it's frizzy it's yeah I need to wash it and my scalp doesn't really feel good um, so as far as what I'm using in my hair today, I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm using um, as far as washing my hair today. Um, if I'm going to deep condition, what stylers I'm going to use. I never know. I never have a set plan. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and wash. And when I come back and show you how I apply my products, I will let you know on screen or down in the description below everything that I used today. Um, so, yeah, if you are interested, please continue to watch, and I will see you in a minute. Bye.
so as you saw the last time I left you um, I put my hair up in this t-shirt this is my version of plopping um, yeah I know it's not the right way to plop but I did it the traditional way and it's just too time consuming but um the one thing that I really like is the t-shirt aspect of the whole thing so depending upon what I'm using what kind of stylers I'm using in my hair determines how long I leave my t-shirt on uh, for today with the Kugel Curl since it's a thicker consistency styler I don't have to leave it on as long because my hair will um, kind of dry out too much I don't want it to be dried out too too much so I've only had it on for I've only had it on my hair for about um, I want to say 10 minutes or so if I were to use something that's a little bit more liquid, something that's thinner, something that wets my hair down a little bit more, say uh, Pattern Pusha, if I use that for my gel from Curl Junkie, I would probably leave my towel or my t-shirt here on for a good 20 minutes because it does leave my hair fairly wet, especially when I'm using a leave-in and stuff underneath it. So yeah, like I said, the t-shirt only stayed on for about 10 minutes or so. And now what I do is I just air dry and um, I have, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have like a natural part where my hair parts down the middle. I don't like to particularly part my hair any certain way. So what I do to air dry my hair is I'll flip my hair um, to one side and just, where'd it go? I'll take one of these little clip things. You can get like a pack of five or six of them from Sally's for like a couple bucks. I think it's like two, three dollars. Um, and what I do is I just clip it to the side like that. No order or anything. I just clip it to the side like that. That way um, it doesn't create its natural part and I don't really have a predetermined part per se when I go to style my hair um, when it's dry. And that's pretty much it. I let it air dry um, and that <laughs> air drying time is again determined upon what I'm using in my hair at the time. So I will come back in a couple of hours to show you guys my fully air dried hair. Um, it may not be until tomorrow. I'm not sure. Again, it just all depends. Um, but before I go, I do want to show you what I used in my hair today. Um, to shampoo, I use the Tresemme Naturals More Nourishing Moisture Shampoo. It looks like this. And yes, this is not curly girl friendly. It does contain sulfates, but it has lower sulfates and they're not as harsh. They're kind of softer sulfates, if that makes sense. Um, I really do like this though. It doesn't strip my hair. It cleans my hair and scalp really nicely. Um, so yeah, I use that today. I just shampoo once. And then for my conditioner and detangler, I used my Shea Moisture Organic uh, African Black Soap Balancing Conditioner. And as you can see, this bad boy is finished. It's done. Um, this is going into the trash. And um, yeah, so that's if you're following me, I think in my last video, in my stash video, I mentioned that I'm on a no buy slash use up my stash challenge. So one more bottle down. <laughs> Um, and then for my leave-in, I use the um, Curl Creme Brulee by Curls. This is the one that you can find in Target. Um, I've seen it in Sally's. I think I've seen it in some select Walmarts. Um, but yeah, the ones that you can get on the ground. This is the Curl Creme Brulee. And I use this as my leave-in. I use a generous amount all over my hair. Um, I don't section off my hair. Uh, when I apply my leave-in so I just saturated my entire head of hair with this and then as my styler as you guys saw I use the Coco Curls Moisturizing Styling Cream and you saw me section off my hair um, run it through smooth it through and this is what it looks like yeah currently. that's what I do with Coco Curls and hopefully this dries at some point today and I will come back and show you guys what it is looking like when my hair is dry so i will see you later bye okay hey guys i'm back um this is still same day it's been about four hours or so um as you can see i flipped my hair to the other side and clipped it um so i'm just gonna flip it back 
again to the side so um, again it kind of dries without the part um, without a predetermined part anyway um, but as you can see um, my hair is probably about I want to say 65 70% dry the back is still pretty wet and the roots are still pretty wet um, but you can see all of like the curl definition I'm getting um, my hair is shrinking obviously because when it was wet it was like down to here I think um, so yeah but you can definitely get a good look at the um, curl definition and how it's curling up there is a little bit of I want to say sheen to my hair so it's a little bit shinier um, that it usually is, which is what I like, um, because I just always feel like my hair is always dull looking, um, and I think that has a lot to do with my hair is just really dark and it's all one color. So, yeah, this is four hours into drying, um, like I said, it's like around 65, maybe, no, it's not even 70% dry, I'd say a good 60, 65% dry, um, so yeah, I just wanted to come and show you what it's looking like, and I will be back when it's fully air dried. Hey guys, it's Jessica. I'm finally back. Um, my hair is finally air dried. It is the next day, um, obviously, because everything's different. Um, so it did take the entire day yesterday for my hair to dry. Um, but you know I use the Coco Curls Moisturizing Styling Cream in my hair for my styler. Um, if you are interested on a full review, I just posted one, so it should be up on my channel. If you are interested, you can check that out. Um, but before I headed out, I just wanted to show you what my hair is looking like. Like I said in my review video, it leaves my hair really defined, um, really fluffy, and I just pulled it back because it's like 1130 and already 100 degrees. It's, it's ridiculous. So I'll go ahead and turn around so you guys can see better. Um... And like I said, it's really defined. You can tell um, there's not too, too much frizz. And yeah, it's just really fluffy and light. There's movement. It doesn't feel like I have, you know, any kind of traditional styler or gel in my hair. It's not crunchy at all. Um, and like I mentioned, I think uh, I can get a good five days worth of hair out of this. Um, five days is kind of pushing it, especially with how humid it is right now, but I usually can um, pull out a good five days worth of hair while using this product. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I know a lot of you like to see application videos, so if you liked this video and want to see more, please let me know down in the comments. Um, if you have any other questions or anything, leave them down in the comments also. Um, and if you want to see any other products that I have reviewed, in an application type video um, let me know that as well so thank you much as always you guys for watching and I will see you next time